While it's true there are pockets of rebellion, there has never been any evidence of a larger scale galaxy-wide operation. And I would like to keep it that way, Admiral Constantine. Grand Admiral Thrall. Grand Admiral? The Emperor recently promoted me after my victory at Batone. Hello there, everyone. Originally, this video was meant to cover the second issue of Darth Vader, but I finally finished the novel Thrawn. So I decided to cover how Thrawn found out about the Death Star and how he met Darth Vader. So let's begin. If you don't know, Thrawn was a member of a race known as the Chiss from the unexplored areas of space. Thrawn left them and came to join the Empire. I'll begin towards the end of the novel where Thrawn has just succeeded in a major victory for the Empire. He then received a communication from the Emperor who called Thrawn back to the Imperial Palace on Coruscant. The throne room was as Thrawn remembered it, though he saw it now with different eyes. The new uniform he'd been given was white, with gold shoulder bars and silver collar insignia, completely unlike anything else in the Imperial Navy. The rank insignia plaque the Emperor held in his gnarled hand was equally impressive. Twelve tiles in blue, red, and gold. The Emperor's face was as Fraun had never seen it. Fraun thought, his expression holds satisfaction with hints of both amusement and malice. Congratulations, Grand Admiral, he said as he held out the insignia plaque. An excellent day for you, an excellent, excellent day for my empire. Fraun thought, the amusement grows. Though, Though I fear, I fear many, many will not, will not see, it see it that, that way. way, I will endeavor to set their hearts and minds at ease, Fraun said, but I must first calm my own heart and mind. The smile leaves the Emperor's face. Some of the satisfaction fades, replaced by displeasure. Must, must you, you now? now. Very well. Very well. Speak, Speak your, your mind, mind Grand, Grand Admiral. Admiral. Tell me about the Death Star. The amusement vanishes. The malice grows. When, when and how, how did you, did you hear, hear of that, that project? project? I learned the name from unguarded dispatches. I deduced the size and power from resource allocations. I now wish to learn from you its purpose. The amusement reappears, mixed now with understanding and triumph. Ah, the emperor said, lowering his hand to his side. Your, Your thoughts, thoughts are laid, are laid bare, bare, Mithra, Mithra Nehru. Nehru. You fear, you fear that, that once I have dealt, I dealt with, with the rebels, the rebels within, within my borders, borders I, will I will turn my unstoppable weapon against, against your, your chiss. Is that, that your, your concern? concern? That is part of it. I would certainly not wish to see my aid to you and your empire subverted into conquest or destruction. But I would also warn against diverting too many of the Empire's resources from a flexible navy of capital ships and starfighters to massive projects that can bring the Imperial presence to only one system at a time. Allow, Allow me to allay your, your fears. fears. I have, I no, have desires no desires against, against your, your people. people. Indeed, Indeed, I have noted, I noted that, that despite, despite your assistance, your assistance in mapping, mapping the unknown region hyperspace, hyperspace routes, routes, you have you kept have the had location, location of Chiss world and bases secret. secret. That, is that is acceptable. acceptable. I, don't I don't begrudge you the defense, defense of your, of your people. people. As, As to, to imperial, imperial resources, resources, 
he smiles again, with triumph growing and turning strangely brittle. There will, there will soon, soon be no need, need to, spread to spread the Imperial, the Imperial presence, presence across, across the galaxy. The galaxy. Once, Once the Death, Death Star, Star is, is fully, fully operational, operational its, its very existence, existence will suppress, will suppress all, all opposition. opposition. And, and so... He raises his arm again, holding out the rank plaque. This time, Fraun took it. Good. His smile again holds satisfaction. The malice fades but never entirely disappears. At the side of the throne room, a door slid open and a tall, black-clad figure appeared, a long black cloak swirling behind him. Ah, Lo Veda. Veda. The Emperor called a greeting. He beckons to the figure. His body stance holds a sense of mastery and domination. Come, Come. Join, join us. us. I don't, I don't believe, believe you have met, met Da Vader, Grand, Grand Admiral, Admiral Thrall. Vader approaches, his pace measured but confident. His face is hidden, his muscle movements muted and unreadable beneath his armored clothing. But his stance holds power and authority. It also holds confidence. More than anything else, it holds confidence. You are correct, Your Excellency. I greet you, Lord Vader. Grand Admiral, Vader said, inclining his helmeted head. His voice is deep and partially mechanical. It too holds power and confidence. I have heard a great deal about you. I am pleased we have finally met. Yes, as am I. And there you have it. So everyone, what did you think of the end of this novel? I found the ending quite satisfying, and it made the novel even more interesting. Please leave your thoughts on Fraun, meeting Vader, and finding out about the Death Star in the comments below. Let me know if there are any other novels you all would like me to cover, and if you think Fraun figured out that Vader was in fact Anakin Skywalker. Until next time everyone, Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, comment below with your favorite Fraun moment, and share this video with your friends. Click on the little bell icon to be aware of my future videos. Have a fantastic day wherever you are, and may the force of others be with you always.